the four major things before you ever outsource that you have to look at too are the four major risks, strategic, operational, regulatory compliance, and reputational risk. And so first, you know, talk a little bit about strategic risk uh, is, you know, how does this fall in line with your products and services and your end customers? Um, you know, that's first and foremost. Does it follow with your strategic plan? Is it coming to that model by you outsourcing and people recognize that that is a third party that's handling that function? Is that going to look negatively upon your institution? Operational risk. Okay, now you're relying on someone else, a third party company. Uh, you know, you may be better with a contract that you can cancel at any time, but if it's you know, software, software as a service that has many legs. They could be holding your data hostage during that time. So you've got, you know, a lot of operational risks. If something happens, you know, you can't fix it yourself. You're going to have to contact them to fix it. So how does that play into your operations? How does that work with, you know, your standard operating procedures? Um, you need to cover those risks forwards and backwards. Regulatory and compliance, the risk, obviously, you know, banks exist and we are always going to have regulatory and compliance issues. So, you know, are you outsourcing something that you need to be the expert in? You know, there's functions that you can outsource your, um, let's think of your company. Do you want to outsource your BSA? That probably is not a very good idea for banks to outsource BSA. But are you outsourcing or internal compliance, internal audits? That may be extremely beneficial to you because of your size. Um, so, you know, regulatory compliance, you have to run through that risk as you're vetting and looking to outsource. And the fourth major one is reputational risk. And not only reputational risk outsourcing, the, the first one that comes to mind, if you're, you're a customer service support, if you're outsourcing that and you're outsourcing it to people that, you know, are different than your customer base, if you're outsourcing a call center, and then people immediately feel when they call your institution and they recognize that person is not there, they're out of country, they don't sound like your customer base, that could be extremely negative to your reputation. And I, and I believe most people, companies have already gotten that way, but you know that's the first thing that pops in my mind. And, I, and most of the time, I don't think anybody's doing that anymore, at least you know, um, customer service centric or not. But you know, that's, that's the thing. And then regulatory risk of, you know, is that, you know, is that vendor that you're using, you need, you need to look up and see, you know, their reputation, you know, if they've got a negative reputation too, um, then, you know, that could carry over onto you. Uh, 